So this is part two of the flower garland necklace kit instructions or demonstration. I have just put on all nine flowers with six beads preceding each one. So nine repetitions. After you do that, you put six more bugle beads on. So I'm gonna put my last six on this first part of the necklace. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I push them all toward the last flower that I put on. So you can see them going to the last flower. And then I'm going to reach for my second bead tip. So this time I'm going to feed it differently. Last time I went inside the cup. This time I'm going to go feed it from the bottom of the cup. This is going to make the bead tip land right next to the bugle bead with the cup side right next to the bugle bead. Okay. And then I'm going to do a nifty little trick. Often when we use bead tips, we're knotting the silk and we're putting the knots in here. Well, we didn't want to have to do that um, on this because we are going to be going back through uh, these flowers to create scallops. So we're not, we didn't want to finish it off yet. So we're going to have use a little trick. We're going to take in your kit, you have these teeny tiny little seed beads. They're actually size 15. Um, they're teeny, teeny, tiny. You're going to feed one of those on. And you're going to scooch that all the way over to your bead tip. And so it's going to land inside your bead tip, just kind of like knots land inside your bead tips. So you see that inside there. And then you're going to take your needle and you're not going to go through that seed bead again. You're going to go around it and back through the hole at the bottom of the cup. And so what this little seed bead is doing is it's kind of acting like a knot. It's going to secure your silk inside the bead tip without having to knot and cut the silk. So you do want that to land right next to that bugle bead. So you might have to fiddle with it a little bit, but there you go. So you can see there that you have that seed bead inside the bead tip with the thread going around it and back through coming out this side of it. Okay, so now we're going to work back and work on our scallops. So we had used six bugles on our way across the top. So now we're going to reach for seven. And what this is going to do is create that little loop or scallop because there's one extra. I don't know if you just saw that, but one of my bugles just went flying across the room. That happens sometimes. We give you a few extras just to be sure. You have plenty. One, two, three. So I have seven that I'm going to scooch all the way. And you'll see I'm creating this second row here. Get these extras out of the way. And now I'm going to go through that last flower I put on. So it's the ninth flower that I put on. So you want to stick your needle in there, get it through that hole, and pull it all the way through until you see those bugles create that sweet little scallop and then you do it again so you feed on seven bugles and go through the next bead 
So I'll show you one more time. One. Two. Three. Scooch all seven of those so they're right next to that last flower. Then you, with your needle, you feed the silk through the second to last flower you put on. And you created your second scallop. So you're going to continue this pattern until you've gone through all of your flowers and created a scallop for each one. I'm going to pause on this video again and then I'm going to show you how to finish it off.